Greetings ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name of Tlotlo and I would like to welcome you guys back into my YouTube channel, Tutorials Program, where we inspire a students to achieve greatness through the mirror learning. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to click on that subscribe button. And if ever this video is helpful to you guys, please do like and also share with others who you think might, might find this video, might find this video um helpful. So, yeah, 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 do like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, just do subscribe and then like the video if ever this video supports you guys. So that I also stay motivated to continue making, su making such content. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get straight into our question paper. So we're busy with our computerized financial system. So on our previous video, I think we were doing... Let me just double check quickly. I think I was doing additional perimeter setup. Yes, we were doing our additional perimeter setup. So, firstly, we did our inventory channel and then inventory valu valuation. And then also we managed to, to finish our customer channel. And then so now the next step is to do our computerized Okay, our source documents so next step is doing our source documents so i think on this video i think i'll focus on supplies invoice and the debit note also yes i think on this video i'll be, I'll be focusing on our our supplies invoice and also the, the debit note so okay let's see let's see let's see let's see how we do all that how we do all that how we do all that okay so our suppliers we're starting here on our credit invoice <clears throat> we're starting here on our our credit invoice so this is the, the first supply which is universal okay so universal we bought for steel rack and then they're telling us that it's office equipment so office equipment so these ones won't be we won't be doing them on our supplies invoice this one will be doing them on on our suppliers channel yes so this one all our equipments all our equipments will record them when we're doing our our suppliers channel so and for now we'll skip this and then come down to gen generic so generic what are we buying we're buying as you can see we're buying inventory so this is all the things we're selling in the business so we're buying what we're buying our inventory so this one this one does fall on our suppliers invoices so first you say what say process <coughs> you say process and then we're dealing with our suppliers and you simply click on your suppliers and then you have something something like this and then our supplier is you say tab and then we're dealing with generic if i'm not mistaken we say generic and then tab <coughs> tab 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 Okay, so make sure that you're on period one. Okay, so let's go back to our generic. So the date is 5-03-2024. So tap and then 05, tap. Supplies invoice. Supplies invoice, so it's GER 016. It's GER 016. GER 016. And then we say tab and then our discount our trade discount so we're looking for our our trade discount which is this this five percent invoice discount and then we'll say five percent and then tab our terms our terms they said 2.5 percent discount within within 30 days 2.5 within 30 days so let's see if we do have the 2.5 in the 2.5 within 30 days so we just select that and then we say enter and then tap tap <coughs> first item first item first item first item first item okay 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 so our first item is paint roller feel feeling more hair feeling more hair so this is as you can see it's written note number two so it's that new inventory that we added when we're doing our our additional perimeter setup so if you don't know how we added that video that new inventory please be sure to check out the 
the previous video to see how we edit the inventory so on so on this on this campaign i'm working on i've already made all the additional perimeter setup because on my previous video i was doing all the additional perimeter setup so those changes have are already they've already been made so we're just moving forward we're just moving forward from the stage so we're buying what paint roller so we're looking for our paint roller paint roller so here's our paint roller and then we say enter and then you can say tap tap and then quantity how many we buy in 20 20 and then tap and then so vet needs to be charged on on the so make sure that it's on standard it's standard rate so make sure that vet is on on standard rate so it's 0 comma 1 so it's fine and then we say tab and then the price the price for this let's confirm if the price is correct so we have our 110 here so the price it is 110 so it is correct and then you can just simply say what say tab tab just like that you are done with the first one and then the next product the next inventory actually. what are we buying what are we buying we're buying polycell polycell cracker Polycell cracker, so I think it's polycell cracker fill. Let me just confirm. Poly, yes, and then how many in there? How many quantity, which is 20. So 20 also, buying 20, and then tap. Fed needs to be charged, so it's 0 0,1, meaning standard rate. It's fine, 15%. And then let's confirm the amount if it's correct. So 3230, so we do have 3230 here also. So it's fine. And then we say tap, tap. <coughs> Next item. What are we looking for? We're looking for. Please do remember, guys, that at the end we must have this the same total. So if when you come into your total here and it doesn't match this, you must simply know that you must have done something wrong. So yeah. So the main aim is to get this, this total. If you don't get this total, you must know that you did something wrong. Okay, so we're moving on with drop sheet. Drop sheet and we bought, we bought 20. 50 actually. Drop sheet. So drop sheet and try and then say tap, 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 50, 20, And then the price. Let's just quickly confirm the price. 23.85. So 23.85. So as you can see here, we have 23 comma. 35 so we need to make sure that it's what it's 23 comma 85 so make sure make sure make sure that you have you have the right the right numbers there make sure that you have the right numbers and then and then we're moving on 23 comma 85 drop sheet which is 50 okay so moving on Moving on, moving on, moving on, and then tap, tap. <coughs> okay, so I think we are done with all our inventory. I think we are done with all our inventory. Yes, we're done with everything. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do we have the same amount? So we don't have the same amount. So meaning, I must have some. Um, I must have done something wrong, maybe. Oh, so let's just quickly double check our price. So 30, 10, so 30, 10, 32, 30, so 23.85, so they said 23.85, but then the price is not the same, the price is not the same when we're doing our, our 23.85, so let's check what they told us concerning, okay, they never told us anything concerning this, but then why is the amount not the same? Okay, let me just confirm something let me go back to the price we had before and see so we had 23 comma 35 if i'm mistaken so if we keep the 23 comma 85 and then we get this the right amount so if we go back to this amount then everything 
balances so i don't know why maybe it must be a mistake of there must be a mistake maybe in the question paper or something but then as you can see here we have 23 comma 85 so usually you need to change the price also to 23 comma comma 85 but then in this case maybe they made a mistake somewhere 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 so we'll just leave it as we'll just leave it as 23 comma 35 because the main aim is to get the total correct so as long as the the total matches with the total in your question paper then everything must be must be all right okay so i think we are done with that so we are done we are done with generic so we are done with generic so after that the only thing that you need to do is what you say next document next document and then you say print so i'm going to print to pdf print to pdf and then i will save it here so it's supplier invoice Supply invoice, let me say generic in brackets, generic. Okay, so let me just save that. Okay. And then the second one, so let's check, we're going back to our question paper to see if we went and bought any more inventory elsewhere so we're going to dingas label so dingas label we bought five boxes of printing so so this one also will affect our will affect our suppliers invoice so we'll do not suppliers invoice our suppliers channel so we'll, this one also we will do it when we get to our our suppliers channel yes okay going down Build it. What did, we, what did we buy? Build it. We bought heavy duty extensions. So as you can see here, they're telling us on note number four. Note number four, they're saying what? As you can see here, these two, they have got this note number four. So let's see what they're saying. The letters and pressure washer were bought to be used in the in the paint shop as shop fitting. So meaning meaning these are our equipment. You can see they are our equipments because they are bought with the purpose of what? Of being used in the business, not with the purpose of reselling. So everything that is bought with the purpose of being used in the business, we don't include it. Like for example, also this one here, we don't include it because because these boxes of print, printable white labels will be used in the business. They are not bought for the purpose of reselling. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Keep, keep that in mind. Okay, so I think we are done with everything. All we just need to do is to what? To do our our returns to our supplier. All the returns that we made to our supplier. So since we are dealing with our supplier's, supplier's invoice, when we're dealing with our returns, we'll be using, we'll be looking at our debit note. So you can simply just click here and then go straight to debit note. Just like that. And then we say tap tap supplier who did we return to of course it will be generic because we only bought from generic in this in this case so we bought from generic so we'll just say what generic and you can say tap only the date you've entered is what i think is fine tap 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 and then make sure that you're on period period one make sure that you're on period period one and then when did we return these when did we return when did we return on the two okay not 20 oh seven on the seventh we returned zero seven tap original invoice so original invoice what they're talking about when they're saying we need our original invoice this is what they're talking about so we're going back to to generic to check our original invoice Generic is our original invoice, which is the GER 016. So GER 016. GER 016. Then you say tab. Discount, if I remember correctly, it was 5%. So our discount was, was 5%. So you also need to include that, that discount that we, we gave to this customer. So this 5% discount, we also need to include that. And then you can say tab. What did we return? Let's quickly double check. What did we return? 
we returned one poly cell. We returned what one poly cell. Poly cell crack. Okay, say enter and then tap tap quantity. Quantity is one. So quantity is one. Okay, so next vet. Our vet has to be standard rated. So standard rated, so make sure that you're on, on standard rated. And then the price, the price is correct. And then you say tab. We never gave any, there was no special discount on this, so it's fine. And then next we need to, to write our remarks. Like why are we retaining this? Why are we retaining, are we retaining this, this product or the infantry? Why are we retaining it? Why are we retaining it? Let's go back and confirm. Bag broken. So they're saying what? They said bag broken. So you need to write this. This bag broken. They said it's bag broken. So the bag was what? The bag was broken. And then we are done with our. We are done with our. Remark and then we check also what did we return? So that's the only thing we return to our our supplier. So that's the only thing we we return to our supplier. So yeah, that's pretty much that. That's pretty much that concerning the returns that we made to our to our supplier. So that's that's everything. That's how you do your your debit note. That's how you do your your debit note so i think there is nothing else for us to do okay so i think this is where the video ends so on my next video i'll be doing our we'll be focusing on our 24 so on my next video we'll be focusing on our text invoices and okay maybe the text invoice alone because as you can see it consists of a lot of marks but then if the video is not too long we'll be sure to include the credit note also but then if the video is too long i'll cut that video short and then focus on the credit note on its own yes so i hope this video was helpful to you guys so if ever this video was really helpful to you guys the least you could do for me is to click on that like on that like on that like button and also share with others who you think might be interested in such such information so that we all make the right impact into the world. So without wasting any more of your time, from me to you guys, this is goodbye. Thank you for watching.